Print versions of the logo will be supplied in a vector file format so that they're scalable. AI, EPS, and PDF are all vector file formats. These days, the native Illustrator file format, AI, can be placed in just about any sort of page layout program. But for maximum compatibility, I'll be saving the print versions in EPS format. Depending on your client's needs, you may want to save versions in both AI and EPS. This is arguably redundant, but it won't do any harm. Before we do so, let's just check a few things. Firstly, we want to convert all fonts to outlines. Make sure you're working with a copy of the file here because you want to retain your original with the type as editable text. But for public versions of the logo, the type should be outlined. Even if the logo is all text, think of it as a picture. There should never be any possibility of people editing the text, nor any chance of the type changing due to missing fonts. Secondly, expand all effects. This removes the possibility of any unpredictable behavior when scaling the logo. Look what happens here when I scale this. How the relationship between the type and symbol is completely disrupted. This symbol has been created using a transform effect. I'm now going to expand the appearance on that effect so that now, if the logo is scaled, the relationship of the elements is maintained. Consider creating variants of the logo, like a version that includes the company tagline and a reverse version. Supply each variant as a separate file with a file name that clearly indicates its intended usage. While you can just copy and paste each variant into a separate file and then save it, you can also somewhat automate this step. I want to put each of these variants on a separate artboard and then export all of the artboards in one go. If we look on the Layers panel and disclose the contents of the Layers panel, we see that in each of the groups, there is a white rectangle which represents the designed clear space around the logo. I could convert this to an artboard, like so. But in doing so, I would lose that solid white rectangle. So rather than do that, I am first going to select those rectangles. I'm holding down the Command key and clicking on the bullseye for each of these sublayers to select them. And then I will press Command C to copy, come to the top of my layer, and from the Edit menu, choose Paste in Place. I will now come to the Object menu, Artboards, Convert to artboards. We now have four artboards, and if I come to artboard number one, we see that artboard number one includes artboards two, three, and four. With the artboard tool, I'll delete artboard number one. I can use my artboard panel to reorder these artboards, but that's not really necessary. I'll now just come to the file menu and choose Save As. I'll change the file format to Illustrator EPS. Use artboards, all, save. Here I want to back save to an earlier version just to increase the compatibility. It does warn me that certain features will not translate, but I know that I haven't used any of those in this case. Now, if we take a look at that in Bridge, it's created our master file, print EPS, with all three versions of the logo, and then we have each one as a separate file. And just to complete this process, I would name these files explicitly so there's no ambiguity about what they are intended to be used for.